Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. The disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation effectively wiping it from the map. 2010, a US spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. Forward. We were hit, God damn it! I repeat, we were hit! <coughs> Titan 1 Actual here. What's your status, Captain? They got punched out. 
Copter's down and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. of new scientists and technicians took a target 12 has dwindled to nothing. Rumor has it that Dr. Barisov might become the new head of Katorga 12, but I doubt Moscow has much confidence in him. If only Dr. Demichev had died in the fire. The industrial docks are where supplies are brought in from the mainland. Hundreds of tons of equipment and material are offloaded here every day. Once construction is completed, the tower will be home to the Borisov reactor. This powerful device will generate a singularity, an event horizon that will provide the Soviet Union with unlimited energy that is both clean and safe. The processing facilities are where E-99 ore is purified and enriched. In order to protect the civilian population from any potential radioactivity, security is very high. The rail line is where vast amounts of supplies and research materials are moved across the island. It also serves as the main transportation of raw E-99 ore. Isolated island of Katorga 12, we are fighting that threat. The glorious work we are doing will change the world and keep our way of life safe from those who seek to do us harm. Soviet scientists have discovered the answer to our hopes and dreams, the element E-99. E-99 is a rare element only found on Katorga 12. There are many different ways to help the efforts of Mother Russia here on Katorga 12. Your family will live well on the island, and your children will attend schools offering the very best Russian education. Scientific research is the largest division on the island, advancing agriculture, industry, medicine, and the military. Processing E-99 is an important part of the island's function, creating the metal, gas, and other forms of E-99 we use every day. A strong military presence is important on Katorga 12 to ensure the safety of the island. A workforce that will make every Russian proud is the backbone of the island. From the rail yard to the docks, every worker supports the motherland. All of your contributions will go toward achieving the ultimate goals of our work here on Katorga 12. We must stand as one against the forces of the West. You are the lucky one selected for service on Katorga 12. We have moved your family for your convenience. We must now stand together for Mother Russia. By some miracle, you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. SNR's running carpool from there. Double time it. Move! <laughs> 